Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Koontz. One of those three people was severely burned. We got this incredible reported video of smoke and flames shooting from that home. It all happened on East Main Street again in Middletown this morning. News 8's Erin Logan on the scene where she spoke with a person who was able to escape the flames. One of the tenants who lives in this East Main Street home looks at this mess and says, I'm a lucky man. This is the second fire he's escaped in this neighborhood. But he worries about the three people who were taken to the hospital, one of them with severe burns. You can feel that heat from here. This reported video clearly shows smoke and fire forcefully pushing through the front of this East Main Street home. I looked out towards the driveway and I could see the fire coming out of the front floor apartment um, on the porch area. That's when David Coleman grabbed his car keys and got out of his first floor apartment in the back of the home. This is really tough. Coleman's been through this before, but this time he saw a man taken away by ambulance with burns at least on his arms. He says the man doesn't live in the home, according to the landlord. He seemed kind of calm when they had him on the uh, stretcher. I was told by others that um, the fire started possibly in the living room and he was trying to pull the curtains down. That's why he got burnt. Middletown officials don't know if this man is the victim who was severely burned or how the fire started. Told that it may be smoking by one of the tenants. Is that anything you've heard? Well, we, we again, we're, we're just getting in there. Um, we, it's not something that we have confirmed or denied yet. It's, we're going to look at all the avenues. Investigators say it could be quite some time before they determine a cause of fire here at this home, and there's still no word on the victim's condition. On the scene in Middletown, Aaron Logan, News 8.